I was a sinner. We all were born into sin. They say there's a story about this Adam and Eve, these people created by a God who moved heaven and earth with the Holy Spirit and with Jesus. They say they, God breathed breath into the life of mud. He created something out of dirt. I don't understand it. But he supposedly breathed the breath of life into this mound of dirt. He formed a man. He became a human being after he breathed his spirit into this man's body, into this form. I guess you could say it was CPR when someone's just about dying and you get down on your knees and you put your hand over their mouth and you breathe the breath of life into their body and then they breathe. But I don't know nothing about it. I see Christians, no one comes to me and talks to me. How am I supposed to learn? How am I supposed to know about this God thing in Adam and Eve and Jesus? You know, I only know what I hear or what I've heard on TV or seen on the internet. But I see so much violence and things like that. How do I even know what to believe? People are dying all the time. How could a loving God, supposedly a loving God who created us, allow us to die all the time? But wait, then again, someone told me about Satan who tricked Eve and Adam in the garden. And when he did trick them, they gave up their birthright. So now they became sin. And once they took that sin in, that became part of the bloodline. And if we're all created from Adam and Eve, then we also were born of sin. So that means we're living in a sinful world. Wait a minute. That means we're living in a sinful world. So that means we need to take off the sin. How do we do that? Do we just sit back and wait for someone to come to us and share? I don't know. No one comes and talks to me. I hear all these stories about people evangelizing and Billy Graham and people like that, but I've never seen anyone, anyone come to me specifically. Maybe it's because of the clothes I wear. Maybe it's the way I look. I don't know, but I don't know what to do. But I do know one thing, I do understand that we're in a sinful world and God, I guess he gave us free will because they ate from this tree and the tree was the knowledge of good and evil. Oh wait, because God gave them a choice. Ah yes, because he told Adam he could eat from any tree he could eat any fruit, any vegetables he wanted, but not to eat from that one tree. So he had a choice. I get it now. So he had a choice. He made the wrong choice. And when he did, he gave up his birthright. Same thing as us. We have a choice to do right from wrong. Someone can go out and kill people. That's not God's fault. Oh, that's true. That's true, that wouldn't be God's fault because he gave us free will, so someone can go out and get a gun and kill someone. That's not God's fault. That means it's not God's fault for the situation I'm in. All the silly things I've done, all the choices I've made. I've made some silly choices, whether it's using drugs, sinning, doing different things, lying, cheating, whatever it may be, I get it now. It's a bigger picture because he doesn't want to control us. He wants to give us free will. Ah, uh, now I'm starting to get it. You know, I just, that's bringing the light to me now. That's really bringing the light to me. I'm starting to get it. I can unpeel some of this because I'm starting to realize something. It's a revelation, you know? It's a revelation. I'm starting to get it. This is good for me, you know? Oh, wait a minute. Look at this, you know? We got these laying around everywhere. That's what the Bible. I get it now. These are always laying around the house. I thought we were supposed to be <laughs> putting the cup on them and, you know, to keep stuff off of grandma's furniture. I thought that, wait a minute. Oh, wow. There's good information in here, but there's so many. We got New King, New King James. We've got the New Living Translation. We got another one here. Oh, we got so many back here. 
but I heard a story about uh, Philip. I think his name was Philip and God sent him. See, I remember this from my grandma teaching me. God sent him to go talk to an Ethiopian eunuch who was traveling. Yes, he did. And when he came up to the carriage, the Ethiopian was reading from the scriptures. And of course, it wasn't a book back then. It must have been papyrus paper or something. But he probably was reading it. And Philip said, how do you, do you understand what you're reading? And the Ethiopian eunuch said, how can I? when there's no one here to teach me. So Philip jumps up in the carriage and takes it from him and he starts to go over the scripture with him and he teaches him. I guess that would be a form of discipleship. Something that I wish someone would disciple me and come alongside me and teach me what this means because I have no idea what's going on with it. I see right here it says, well, I guess I don't see right now what it says, but it says right here, uh, Peter must have been talking to people and he didn't know what to do or where to turn. And so I guess what he ended up saying is, what must we do to be saved? He says, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is to you and to your children and even to the Gentiles, all who have been called by the Lord our God. That's amazing. I wish I had someone to teach me this stuff. I wish you would come and show me what this means. If you know the Word of God, I'm asking of you to get out because it's not just me who needs to learn this stuff. There's many people that are perishing daily who never have had this. We need to help them. We need to help them. We need to realize that we need to get out here and teach the word and share the word and be a light in this dark world. We need to reveal, we need to show them relevant topics out of this scripture so they can learn, so I can learn, so you can learn. When are we gonna get out and get this word taught to people in their homes, on the streets? Some are doing it right now, many are not. It's time for discipleship. It's time to share the word of God, people. Let's not leave any more hanging. Let's not leave any more astray. We have good news. We have to share it. We have to show hope. Jesus came to the earth not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. That's all I've got to say. I'm at home. Share it. Show it. Love them. Peace.